Early in 1996, Polly Shore and Stephen Baldwin forever changed the world and its perception of environmentalism with the hit movie Biodome. Today, more than 26 years later, we're finally revisiting the intentionally isolated majesty that semispherical structure can share with us all. It's time for Dome Keeper. Dive into the role of this little guy right here as he plummets through the atmosphere, crushing some innocent creature and takes up the task of managing this bubular building. There's not a lot going on up on the surface except for a small collection of exceptionally harsh looking environments from which you're protected by your thick transparent walls. However, you did bring with you a massive drill so you can start dig-dugging your way downward into the depths of this alien world. As you dig, you'll come across veins of the most precious materials available, squares, circles, and triangles. These geometric goodies are actually representative of iron, water, and cobalt respectively. Once you cleave these lovely shapes from their blocky prison, you'll have to latch them onto your body and haul them back up to your geodesic dwelling to be ground up and processed for you to use. Of course, the more vertices you're dragging behind you, the slower you'll go and eventually your scooty little rocket pack won't move at all. But wait, what's this alarm? Is that faint crunching of glass I hear toward the surface? You better race back topside and get ready to defend your base from the shadowy blob monster seeking revenge for their thoroughly crushed companion. Now you can ready your dome's orbiting laser and blast the ever-loving shit out of any nasties trying to crack open your roof like an egg and slurp you out like the gelatinous yolk you are. Once you've dispatched your attackers and saved the dome, you can use the resources you brought back and process to dive into the upgrade menu and make critical life-saving decisions based on arbitrary desires to make you and your dome just slightly better than they were. Upgrade your drill to drill faster, or perhaps dump some resources into your jetpack to fly faster. Don't forget to increase your carrying capacity so you can carry more. But not all of the upgrades are so straightforward. You might want to devote some of those precious resources into improving your defensive laser or the strength of your protective shell. You can even uncover and collect power-ups deep in the caverns below that will give you special dome abilities like this weird elevator thing or a bird that randomly pecks its way through the underground, blazing new trails for you to follow. All with their own upgrade trees to help keep you alive and rich in the various useful shapes you need so that you may one day find the alien relic of success and win the round. Domekeeper, strip mining an alien planet and killing the natives has never been so fun. I usually don't do well with games that kind of have you set your own difficulty and play your own challenges, but Domekeeper sets it up in a way that kept me motivated to keep trying it. While it's not particularly difficult, nor does it take much time to win on the base difficulty in the smallest map, you don't really get to see much of what's in the game. But upon victory, you unlock a new piece of the world that allows you to do more and play differently. Whether it's just larger maps or new gadgets to start out with, like swapping out your laser for this crazy sword and shield defense, or an entirely new score chasing game mode, there's plenty to discover. It's pretty rewarding to try and unlock options and alternate setups, and while there isn't the cohesive and conclusive nature of a campaign, the game provides the classic roguelike experience where every run is a fresh unboosted start that falls more in line with games like Spelunky. It might not be as appealing for fans of popular progression-focused roguelites, but because it's challenging while still being fun to explore and survive, I'm giving it the abbreviated score of good. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to subscribe and check out my other abbreviated reviews.